and I, the Wrestle Vessel, would just like to give a little plug to some of my merchandise for sale. We got wrestling videotapes, wrestling DVDs, both ones on clearance. We got autographed cards, autographed 8x10s, rare 1989 and 1990 8x10s released by the WWF. We got some classic books. Um, both wrestling, sports, and other kind of books. We got a Spin Fighter set of Razor Ramon and Bam Bam Bigelow, and much more. So please contact me, Mr. Wrestling Tape One, on YouTube, aka the Wrestle Vessel, and watch more great videos of the Wrestle Vessel and the Aftershock right here on YouTube. Welcome to One Minute. What the hell? So here we are playing Jaws for the NES. We got a very, very awesome. Title screen right there. I can see Jaws sticking his head out of the water. He's about ready to kill somebody. Oh, wait. It's an LJN game. You know what that means, right? Well, LJN made really awesome toys. I'm not sure about video games. Uh, let's check the game out. We'll find out. And there is no main menu. You just go directly right into the game. Not sure. Uh, what the hell is this? So automatically got thrown into this segment of gameplay right here. Like we have to shoot sea creatures, then we have some type of a crab walking around on the bottom of the water. I never could figure out why you uh, kill a stingray. Why the hell does it turn into a crab? Well, it's a video game from the 80s, so anything's possible. I guess you have to ride this boat around. I guess the help. Just got sucked back into the water. And now we're deeper in the water, so we're much further away from uh, the coast. And looks like we got stars here. It looks like Russia. What's nice about this game is if you have a turbo button, you just kill things real fast. I'm not sure why we're killing sea animals, but that's the uh, point of the game, I guess. This is one game that I never really got a chance to play in uh, back in the day when I actually had an NES. Uh, I did have a, quite a few LJN games, but this was not one of them. And the game itself appears to be pretty sim simplistic. It's not really that bad of a game so far. Uh, oh, what the hell is that? Is that Jaws? I'm being chased by some type of a shark right here. Not sure if that was Jaws or not, but I really doubt it. Well, what is this, a bonus scene? What is this? We have a airplane and we have uh, a few jellyfish dancing around. What is, what's going on here? Does this bonus scene ever end? Oh wait, I'm supposed to be shooting? What the hell? I had no idea I was supposed to be shooting anything. And that's LGN's version of Florida and Texas. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, shit. Got a big ish. Oh. Now that's Jaws. Much, much larger than the other shark. My little character is going to poop his pants. It's almost like bullfighting a shark because you have to. Can't really do anything to the shark. There's really no way of killing it. I don't think. You see here we are exploring uh, lands of unknown. Not sure what the lands are here. So again, if you have a turbo controller, you just pretty much hold the button down. Oh crap! Wow, that was close. I don't think there is a way of killing Jaws. If there is, uh, down below, let me know because I'm not certain on how to kill Jaws. I had never played this before. Uh, shoot him all you want. He's still gonna live. So my guess is you just have to avoid trying to uh, be hit by him. Meanwhile, you have to kill all the other sea creatures. Might be the why he's pissed off, because you're cutting off his food supply. And you are about to become his food supply if you don't be careful. But I guess the only thing that will keep you playing this game is the, uh, the score. It's all about the score. So pretty much, yeah, bragging rights if you reach a certain score. Uh, as far as the game goes, it's just a very, very basic shooter game. And of course you can ride a boat, as you can see here. 
nothing really, really spectacular, but definitely it's not really that bad of an LGA in game as some people may make it out to be. The game's actually not that bad at all. Uh, it's logical and makes sense. The graphics are actually not bad. The sound is average. Pretty much the only object of the game is to get the largest score you can possibly get, you can get and that's it. Uh, that's your goal. I imagine there probably is a way of killing Jaws, but that I'm not sure of. It's, uh, you know, back then games were a little bit harder and... As far as I can see, Jaws does not want to die. Thank you.